Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my world. It's your boy Classy. Another day, another music discovery. Today, I'm going to react to. Hold up, I have a call. Change of plans. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? First of all, I wanna congrats you on your latest track, which is Corn King of Northeast. That was a crazy song. That was a crazy, so many wordplays, so many metaphors. I bet I still didn't decipher all of them. So guys, the audio of first two minutes of our conversation with Jeannie, I messed up. I'm sorry. I probably did not record the conversation properly, but you did not miss a lot. I'm gonna tell you what we talked about. Jeannie obviously watched rapper Big Deal reacting to you and I with me. And he came up with the idea to react to Are You Indian by rapper Big Deal. We also talked about his latest song, Con. I told him how awesome that song is. He told me that I'm doing a great job and I acted so humble, you know. But inside I was screaming, yeah, people notice that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Jeannie, one more time for doing this. And here's the actual video, guys. Do one of his react to one of his songs okay that would be great that would be awesome what y'all guys think about it all right man but you know before we react to anything on this channel we uh -huh. drink some water i got because you, water oh that's a sound brother. <laughs> well water is the key to a better life so you gotta stay hydrated yes it is cheers cheers man Oh, you're drinking more than me. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Let's do it. There's an ad at the beginning. One second. We're going to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Who are you? Go. What you even doing in here? Part of my ignorance, but lately too many immigrants in India. Did you sneak in through the border? You look Chinese. Okay, right off the bat, I mean... Um, I I I I I understand that you've already reacted to the song, right? Yeah. So you 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 you've already you know said what you have to say, and this is my take. I think uh, for the most part, this this reaction video is basically my take on the song, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right off the bat, man, it's it's a it's a song where um, big deal for for those who uh, haven't checked checked it out. Uh, it's a song basically, you know, is sh shedding a, a much needed light on on an issue, you know, the issue of racism, especially in um, in uh, racism in India, especially against Northeast people. Yep. And uh, you know, it, it, it strikes a, no a nerve, um, even even for the Northeast people and for the mainland people. So this this is just a a really touchy heavy subject and yeah, right exactly. off the bat he gets into it like who are you the other guy is, is speaking and uh uh, I mean, let's let's get into it. I'm not gonna talk too much. What you even doing in here? Part of my ignorance, but lately too many immigrants in India. Did you sneak in through the border? You look Chinese. I ain't racist. I just judge you based on how your stupid faces see. You got little eyes and no eyebrows. Would you think you Indian? <laughs> I doubt. Would you think you Indian? Why, how, looking for the Indian way you staring at him right now? Your girls dress provocative and party all night. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I, I gotta, you know, I gotta give props to the actors. You know, they're really yeah. putting in the effort of, yeah. of you know, l learning the lyrics and acting them out. And, yeah, uh, exactly. That's, that's really commendable. I, and, and, and it's like six of them, guys, you know, just, just learning the lyrics doing their part acting out and it and like i said it's a tough such a subject and you you could be targeted against like pe people could just be hating on you for acting out uh, the, <laughs> the lyrics you know I'm, i think they're yeah. doing a great yeah. job here let's let's go back to it and at least to rape your rally all right like that's gonna make a difference i'm sick and you're the sickness mm -hmm. most of you 
college kids. Kids. Alcohol and weed addicted You can say it's none of my business and I'm a freaking hater But I hate your loud music And I'm your freaking neighbor Most of you come to college In pretext of gaining knowledge But all you do is just bunk And continue draining wallets Now why don't you find some work Now why don't you find your worth Now why the fuck are you stuck Just living off mama's purse huh? What did you think when you first listened to it? Of the well, first, first of, yeah, first of all, uh, since I was a child, I've been watching Bollywood movies. Oh, okay. So, so you know, I know about the mainland, as you guys call it. I was growing up thinking that people in India look all brown, and you know, I don't want to call it <laughs> as it is, but I had one vision of India. You know, mm -hmm. I knew mm -hmm. India like that, and yeah. then this is like this music video opened my eyes like I was ignorant all my life and uh -huh, this right. is what it is this is what's happening in India you got people looking a little bit different on the Northeast yeah so and and they go through all this hate you know people in the mainland not saying again I'm not saying everybody but there are people who judge people in Northeast mm -hmm. based on what they look like and this kind of opened my eyes that look in India people go through the same issue like like in America for example yeah yeah you know racism racism and this is happening and many people are ignorant about it and it's like rapper big deal opened my eyes you know mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. crazy and that and that is so important that and I'm so I'm so glad that he made the song because uh like you just said you know he 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 uh he he he's addressing such an important issue that that is mostly you know swept under the rug for the most part, right? And people don't even know about it. People, even even people in the mainland, like a lot of people in the mainland, don't even know uh, uh, about the Northeast. They don't they don't even know that it's part of the it's part of the country. So exactly. this exactly. is you know it, it like I like I said earlier, he he's, he is shedding a much needed light on this issue. And and lyrically, he's not even go big. Big deal got bars, right? He can, he can have workplace and everything like that. You've you've heard him, and but yeah. but this is an issue that uh, uh, that is uh, I mean, he he's targeting obviously the the general population. So he's not going so hard on you know workplace and bars and things like that because you need the message to be clear, right? And yeah, he's you, doing a great you, job. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be straightforward about it, like Tupac. You know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this this is this is the kind of song where you have to be really straightforward with the message because it's not the, just the rap fans that are listening to it. It's something that you know. Exactly. Uh, and and it's got like um, two point five million, and I, I'm glad that you know the message is heard. Yeah. So yeah, let's get back to it. You waste your time playing Dota You still gon' get a job thanks to SDSC Coda Living off gum and sympathy Losing dignity Like you lost your virginity You're sick and then it Surely it was early especially with your girlies, right? Surely it was early especially with your girlies Owen, to hell with you and your smelly food Every time you cook it smell like yellow poop Makes me wanna puke you don't need them, let's just meet them, Bob. Chicken ain't good enough, so you eating dogs? Sometimes you trying to fit in, sometimes you trying to be different. Sometimes you trying to be Western, sometimes you trying to be Indian. All I'm trying to say is all of this is very conflicting. Why don't you make up your mind and then make a decision and be the person that you want to be, really from within. Not just be somebody because it's convenient and play the victim. This is the very reason for your region's terrorism. You fighting for your rights, yeah, very convincing. Stop the killing. Comes weird about your race. You claim to be a man. I see no beards on your face. <laughs> I hate yeah. the law. Don't believe court. <laughs> blind. That was a good blind one. is the key word. So why criminals running free for an innocence wanna be hurt? Why they in prison and us five years for using a C word? And we love Mary Calm cause she represents a country uh -huh. Not just where she's from, it is necessary If we want to ever share a bond and care about each other Like our very own, are you Indian? Mm. Do you wanna are be Indian? Indian? 
like these are all facts at the end of the day i mean he's he's doing a great job listing out all all the points uh from from each side you know from 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 both parties yeah uh he's he's sort of representing both parties because because like like he said in one of one of his videos explaining why he made this song uh he he explained yeah. how he grew up in puri he grew up in orissa with a japanese mother and with a, an oriental you know facial features and and, and stuff and he was discriminated yeah. against and then he moved uh, i mean he studied in darjeeling which is in the northeast uh growing up and where where people lo who, who look like us in the northeast and he was discriminated as well against as well uh from from both sides so he he has received that um you know racial discriminations from both sides so he he's he said uh he's the perfect uh person to speak on this issue so and and exactly. i understand you know like exactly. and yes which which is why he's he's listing out the things so well see he understands the the, the issue so so deeply you know yeah it's similar like logic case his mom was white and his father yes. was black and he can talk from from both perspective white people didn't like him because he looked a little bit black black people didn't like him because he looked white and it's kind of the same case you know same same, same case and, with big deal yeah yeah, and I love how how he said sometimes you're trying to be Western, sometimes you're trying to be Eastern. Well, when I reacted, I said there is nothing wrong to wanting to be multicultural, you know? It's exactly. nothing wrong. Come on, we have to love each other and not judge based on feature, based on what we look like, right. you know? Exactly, exactly. So let's get back into it. Yeah. Are you Indian? You wanna be Indian? Huh? Fight back, Are you bro. me? Trying to fit in as an Indian citizen? Uh -huh. I can't pardon your ignorance for thinking I'm an immigrant. I live by the border, the left side of course you judge me by my face so it clearly makes you a racist Arunachal, Assam, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Tripura, Sikkim and Nagaland This is the Northeast, Seven Sisters of this land We belong right here, not China or Japan, no? Living better but you feeling bitter Little eyes, but I can see the bigger picture A bigger vision, maybe one day we can be together Coexisting in harmony, cause we just sick of terror Josh me hoosh, khoke lerkyo ko deta dosh Unke dress se bohat zada choti to teri soch hai Insaf ke khate road pe rally karenge roj And he can spit in Hindi Like that's, yeah. you know, that's something he, he's, he's so like multicultural as as he as you said um he yeah, he, could, yeah. he could do both english and hindi and oriya his his native language so this guy is multi-talented man like um Okay, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say all this at the end, end of the video. Let's just, let's just watch the video. Yeah, <laughs> We were historically oppressed, so horribly in excess inequality and a mess. Discriminated as minorities, suppressed all the authority, chose to give the priorities to us. Simple words, we deserve all the quota reserved. Simple words, we deserve all the quota reserved. We ain't living off sympathy if you ever feel differently. Go and raise the issue with the ministry instantly. Some of us try to fit in, some of us try to be different. Some some of us wanna be Western, cause you don't let us feel Indian. All I'm trying to say is you put us in this very condition. Why don't you make up your mind and then make a decision and let us be who we wanna be? Really from within, let us be somebody with no restrictions. So be the victim. This is the very reason for our region's terrorism. We fighting for our rights, cause the government isn't. So fuck the system. Hell Mary, the smells hairy, it smells very shit. I like this part, I like, I like the women. Yeah. Real scary when Gandhi got thrown on the train cause of his skin color That's the type of 
for racism that's always been under The British has divided us and then left And up until this day we still follow the steps We are slaves to our pride But innocents pay the price Violently take a life And now the mother she cries And now the daughter is raped And now the son has just died All of the sacrifice Just to prove who is right What's the point to be alive If there's the meaning of life If we keep up with the fight And never see eye to eye Let us be human as humans We empathize It's time to bring a change It starts with you and I I am Indian Let me be Indian I am Indian Let me be Indian That's a nice hook too bro Yeah My brother Joe X, by the way, the one with the bandana. All right, so that was it. And I, I just want to say, I just want to say, um, uh, me and Big Deal, we've known each other uh, since 2012. So it's it's been a while, and I've known I've known him for years. And uh, like we said earlier, he's the he, he's the most qualified person to make such a song uh, to to address. Uh, racism in India because he he's he's been on b- both ends ends and um, and I I just want to add that he he's I admire him so much as a person uh, because he's such he has a, an amazing um, work ethic he works so hard he's focused he's willing to learn and all that shit man he's he's such he's he's such an amazing person and. Um, so disciplined, you know. I, I've always been inspired by him and and how he how he lives his life, and uh, you know, it's always it's always love and respect between us both. And yeah, this 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 song was a great job done by Big Deal once again. Yeah, I love that. How I said earlier, it not only educate people in India about the racism and lets people in India know this is what what's happening mm-hmm. but it lets us people outside of India also know that India is different it's not what we know it like and there is racism in India as well one of my favorite parts of this song is first he says my eyes are small but I can see a bigger picture. Their yeah. work play right there uh-huh. is fantastic. I mean, come on. If I I mean in my heart is only love. So when there's love in your heart, when you're not hating on somebody else, mm-hmm. you can see a bigger picture. Mm-hmm. You don't need bigger eyes to see a bigger picture. Exactly. You know? that, was, that, that was a clever one right there. Yeah, and also when he says like uh, the British came and took this land they're gone a long time ago they left this place but we still live in we still live by their ways you know what i'm saying like it was their ways back in the days not right now but it was their ways to discriminate to take a land and to to take people in slavery and to hate on yes exactly to hate on each other and they are gone but we still live by their ways of living, we still hate on each other. And that's effed up, you know. It is, it is. Really, so, really love, love this song. song. Yeah, me too. It's, it is so um, educational, informative, and uh, there's like, he, he, he did such a great job at listing out all the, um, all the different points that each, yeah, each party had, has, and, and like, just, it, it's just so commendable lyrically, so well written. Like I, I, I don't think I could write anything uh, like this. You know, like I said, it's no, it, there, there's no crazy bars or where you have to pause and sort of dissect and uh, and, and decipher decipher. But as a whole, it, it is so, it is it is so well written and it, and it's easily understood. The message is conveyed in a straightforward manner, and and that's exactly how you should approach this kind of songs, right? So, yeah, exactly. So he yeah he, he did he did a perfect job, and I and I'm glad that 
this went sort of viral and uh yeah yeah it made you think and as you said that he talks about the different uh, difference between the mainland and the northeast i think this is what makes this world better that we look so different and we are so different it would be it would be boring if we all were the same exactly it would be really boring so that's what makes this world so beautiful yeah and i love the chorus are you indian and then i am indian yeah it, it has it has only three words uh-huh but so much pain in it you know what i'm saying like, exactly i feel that exactly the first the first verse so, uh, the, the first chorus say are you indian and he answers i am indian and he he affirms it like Yes, I am Indian and I'm going I'm going nowhere. Like right? we're not from China, we're not from Japan. We're staying right here. This is <laughs> yeah. my home. This is my land. And yeah, he's making exactly. a stand for all the northeast people. So awesome. Love that. So, man, if you ever happen to to meet racists or you know, you talk with somebody and they express some hate towards another race. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? What's your message to your followers? Like, how do you deal with racism in India and outside of India? Like, I, I, I think the best way, uh, the, the best thing is to educate yourself and to ed educate others as well. Like Big Deal is doing here. He's, he's educating people on, on what the issue is and how it is and I, I think we should educate ourselves on you know where we came from our origin if you if you go all the way back all the way back to how humanity started we we we're the same like you know we all came from we all came from the same place so what are we discrim who are we discriminating against it's our brothers and sisters at the end of the day you know it, it, so exactly it, it doesn't make any sense like Racism is, is, is so stupid. True. Now, I agree totally with that. Totally. Anything else you would love to add? Is um, there a project coming up, maybe? Yes, yes, there's a project. Uh, this time I'm doing a Mizo song, my, my native language. Uh, the song is going to be yeah. in my native language. I... Um, I'm about to shoot a video, but you know the whole coronavirus thing, and we're we're in lockdown. Things are uncertain right now, so I don't I don't know where when I will be dropping the uh, the video. But yes, uh, I've, I've finished with the uh, with the audio. The song the song itself is finished, but uh, I don't know when when I'm gonna be able to shoot a video. So um, watch out, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned, y'all. I mean. It was nice talking to you. You too, man. It's, it's such an honor. We will meet one day in real life and hang out, you know? Of hang course we will. Yes, yes, we need to. <laughs> Keep doing what I, you I, do, I, man, and stay, stay cool. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You take care of you. You too. Stay blessed. Bye. Peace. Peace. All right, so that was Genie reacting to rapper Big Deal, Are You Indian? I think we said everything it has to be said. People educate yourself on racism and spread love, not negativity. You know, only peace, love, and positivity. Yo, I hope you guys having a great day. Stay blessed. One world, one love. Love yours. Peace out.